Alright, I'm in Huntington Beach tonight. I am on Edinger Avenue. I'm heading toward Beach Boulevard. There's supposed to be a uh, impeach Trump <laughs> rally going on tonight at the corner of the beach and Edinger. So I'm headed over there to uh, check it out and see how many people are there, how busy it is, that type of thing. Last I looked on Move On's website, there was uh, 85 people that were going to be attending. Uh, so as I get closer, I will uh, I will video again. Okay, I think I'm starting to hear. Uh, sounds like a drum of some kind. Uh, as I'm getting closer to the corner, uh, I see. Oh, I do see some uh, some signs and things here. Let me flip the camera. Around. Okay, you should be able to see off in the distance. I see at least one American flag, which is kind of funny. Um, I see a bunch of... I think I see some signs. I see quite a few people. So uh, I'm getting closer. See if I can get some better video. Alright, I didn't get any closer than this. A lot of impeach strong people here. trying to uh, get enough people to fill all four corners. Looks like they got enough for three.
the proposal? Okay, multiple hunts. That one's yours. In Page Trump, 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 in Page Trump. other rallies uh, throughout Southern California and the rest of the, uh, the country, so I mean, it's a decent size for, um, it's probably a decent size for this area. That <laughs> might be, that might be all the liberals in Orange County, actually. <laughs> and like the lone, there was a lone conservative there. Um, well, I shouldn't say lone. I mean, there was a lone conservative there with a sign. I was, I was, I'm a libertarian, but uh, I would say I was, I give the guy a thumbs up. Because <laughs> one, uh, you know, it, t it takes a lot of guts to, to come to a rally like this um, with signs of, of your opposition. Um, and two, he was willing to walk up to people and ask them, you know, what, what the, or, or he was, asked them what they didn't like about him and there was other people asking him what he liked about Trump and he was willing he was talking to them and like I said there was no there was no real yelling there was a few back and forth uh, the first guy I caught it on video the first guy did call him uh, I believe an ass as he uh, as they as they parted which I felt was unnecessary <laughs> but outside of that nobody was pushing anybody they were all, they, most of them clearly didn't think he knew what he was talking about or, uh, or should be there. Um, he was, if I had to guess, he's probably the most well informed one there, though. And, and I say that because what crimes has Trump committed? Uh, okay, he obstructed, you, you could say he obstructed justice. Uh, or he obstructed an investigation, the uh, the Russian, which which turned out to be complete um, complete garbage. So you could say he obstructed he obstructed justice or uh, obstructed an investigation, um, but they found no collusion whatsoever. Um, the the full transcript of the phone call. Uh, 
was nothing. There's, there's nothing there. Um, he, we have eyewitness accounts. Um, the, um, I can't remember, uh, but they basically said that Trump actually said no quid pro quo. None at all whatsoever. Um, he didn't want anything like that. These, um, these uh, State Department, I think they're State Department officials. State Department officials, these uh, CIA operatives, um, I can't remember. Basically, the, pe the people who testified, the ones who said, oh, they believe that there was quid pro quo. It's, it's funny because that's how they, in they, they supposedly interpreted his... Um, what he said in some of his actions as meaning that he wanted something in return but then when we have uh, witnesses who said when they talked to Trump himself and he said no quid pro quo well I mean I think that says it all right there he didn't want anything in return he wanted the uh, the government of Ukraine to just root out their corruption it wasn't and we'll give you something. We'll give you what you're asking for. It was just find the corruption. Um, but, uh, you know, the media is continues to play this game of not reporting the facts. The Democrats continue. This is, I mean, we're in year three. And um, like I've seen around online, they were talking about impeachment before the election even took place in November. So that's you know, and that's where we're at. The I I, wanted, I heard somebody say the impeachment vote is tomorrow, so I'm I'm sure that they will impeach him. It will go on to the Senate, and it will go down in flames. Because if it doesn't go down in flames, if Trump does in fact get removed from office, the precedent this sets is is scary. It's extremely scary because it means that when half the country isn't happy with the outcome, all they gotta do is replace the, 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 uh, the House of Representatives with their party and impeach the president and have enough people in the Senate to get a conviction. And you will see, if this, if this happens, you will see um, future presidents get impeached and removed from office over nothing more than half the country doesn't like them. And that's just, that's a scary thought, you know? Just because you don't like the guy doesn't mean he deserves to be removed from office. I didn't like Obama, but I didn't go around saying impeach him despite all the, and I could list them off <laughs> if I wanted to, all of the unconstitutional, unlawful things that he did, we can start with deploying troops or sending troops to Libya. Uh, he did it, f and and the reason, and without telling Congress, without requesting authorization from Congress, even under the War Powers Act, and the reason that he, you could say that he got away with it, is because he sent them and then pulled and then pulled them out uh, within that 90-day window. The president has 90 days to inform Congress. He didn't do it. He just sent them, and then he pulled them back out. Um, dr um, droning um, enemy combatants. Droning American citizens. There's a reason Rand Paul stood up in the Senate and filibustered. Because Obama was telling... And, and the left was okay with this. Obama was making the sole decision of who could be droned. So... You know, there's there's complaint about it, there's protest it, and then there's impeach and removal. Well, if it's not treason, and nothing Trump has done has been treasonous, then he should not be removed from office.